वेलकम टू टेक्नो मैथ वे यू कैन फाइंड मैथमेटिकल शॉर्टकट टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स एंड कंप्यूटर ट्रिक्स हाई फ्रेंड्स इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन हाउ टू एंड क्रिप्ट फाइल्स एंड फोल्डर्स एंड मेक इट रिस्ट्रिक्टेड इफ यू हैवेंट सीन इट यू कैन क्लिक ऑन दिस वीडियो आई वुड रिकमेंड यू टू प्लीज वॉच इट फर्स्ट बिफोर कंटिन्यूइंग today's tutorial now in this video i will show you how to decrypt and make it possible for a specific user to access these encrypted files or how can we access these files on another machine so as we have seen previously these are our encrypted files created on my user account Apart from this I have two more user accounts on my system one is general account another is guest account so once i encrypt the files these two users are prohibited from accessing them and now i want only the general account to be able to access this file and not the guest account in order to achieve this we have to provide a certificate to general account okay so let's under, understand this uh, certificate things first if you right click on the new new folder which is the encrypted folder and click on properties select advanced tab you'll see the details section is enabled go to the details section and you will be able to see under the users who can access this file is there is my user account under which i have created this folder these files and made it encrypted and you will see there is a certificate issued for this okay so what i will do is i will export this certificate i will give the certificate to general account and ask him to install this certificate on his user account in this way general account will be able to access this folder and the files available in this folder so how 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 do we export this certificate first of all cancel all the window so in order to export the certificate go to the run command and type mmc it will open the microsoft management console go to the file option click on add remove snap in here from the left hand side select certificate click on add and select create a certificate for my user account because i have encrypted those files so i need to create a certificate for my user account and i will give this certificate to general account in order to make it possible for him to access the files click on finish click on okay and from here go to the personal folder go to the certificate folder you will see there is a certificate issued for my user account and this is the encryption method i used to encrypt my folders and files okay so now right click on it select all tasks click on export so generally by exporting this certificate is simply means that i'm just take, taking a backup of the certificate now how this is useful in some other way consider you are upgrading your operating system to the higher version in that case you will need this certificate to access your encrypted files even for your user account okay so click on next select yes export the private key click on next click on next 
select the password and provide the password to the certificate. Click on next and provide the location where you want to save this certificate. So I'm just going to save it on my C drive but please note down this is not a good idea because we have another user account named guest account and this is very easy for him to access this certificate and use it to get the access for our encrypted files and folders so the best way is to store this certificate on your usb and give it to the general account and ask him to install the certificate on his user account one more thing guys uh, we have just provided the password for this certificate so you need to give the password to him also click on next click on finish now if you go to the c drive there's a, there's this certificate we have just created right now okay so ask the general account to install this certificate and i'm going to show you how to do this so it is very easy i'm just going to log off from this a user account from my user account and i'm just going to log in from general account so uh, this is my general account So now as I logged into general account, I'm going to the C drive and let's see if um, still these files and folders are accessible or not. If you click on the confidential data, it will throw me an error accesses denied because we have not yet installed the certificate provided by me. Okay, so remember we have saved our certificate on the C drive double click on the certificate select for current user current user means the general user general account user click on next the file name is this one click on next the password remember guys we have provided the password while creating the certificate from my account right so I need to give this password to the general account let's assume I have given the password to general account and he is entering the password click on next and select this option automatically select the certificate store based on the type of certificate click on next that's all completing the certificate import wizard and click on finish that's it the import was successful so now when we have successfully imported the certificate for this user I'm just going into this folder and trying to access this file see the file is now accessible which previously was throwing an error of access denied so in this way you can encrypt your files and folders and make it protected and secure. You can also provide access to the specific users. I hope you like the video. Keep sharing it and provide your valuable comment in the below comment box. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel to get the future updates. Thank you.